Hey everybody. All right, so day two of patterns. Things are gonna get a little more complex because um, patterns can change their color, we found out last time, their size, their shape. Today we're gonna combine more than one attribute and maybe even add in position. So keep an eye on these patterns. They do get a little bit complex. So here, what they're doing is they're changing the size and the color. So we're combining um, different attributes. So we have medium green, big green, medium purple. See how they did that? Medium green, big green, medium purple. Mm -hmm. So still the exact same thing that we did before in that your number one job is to find the stem or the pattern unit, what is repeating over and over again. And then um, after that, you should figure out what's coming next. So every time there's a purple, what comes right after the purple? So it goes green, big green, purple, green, big green, purple, green, big green, purple. Yep, this one should just be a medium green. Sorry about my terrible triangle. Here, um, they're changing the shape. So we have triangles and circles, but they're also doing flips or turns, if you notice. So we have left, circle, right, circle. Left, circle, right, circle. Left, circle. Uh-huh, it should be facing to the right. See if I can find a pink here. So this next one here should definitely be facing to the right and the little red tip should be on this side. And then also you're always gonna come and find the part of the pattern that repeats itself. We call that the pattern unit or back in the day, the stem. So a little more complex work with the same uh, skill patterns. Here are a couple more examples. Facing to the left, facing to the right, facing to the left, facing to the right, facing to the left, facing to the right, facing to the left, facing to the right. Uh-huh, I think you're right. And then um, you also want to find the stem. And did we decide what's going on with this one? So it was facing to the right here. So it is gonna obviously be a hexagon, but which side is red? So let's see, the reds come together, the reds come together, the reds come together, the reds will come together. There you go. See this one here? I would be calling on one of you to do this one. So why don't you take a look so it goes top on the outside and you got color that you can see. So outside, outside, inside, inside, outside, outside, inside, inside. Circle the stem and predict what's going to be coming next. There are a couple more that will work together and then I'll have you do a few on your own. Let me show you um, a couple that we would be doing together in class just to kind of ref Fresh our memory here. These are some pretty straightforward um, patterns. Here are some more complex patterns where they're changing with turns. Maybe they're doing um, more than one attribute with some of these. And then these are the ones you're going to be doing on your own. We'll start off kind of easy, straightforward. And then as we move through, we start adding a little complexity to the patterns that we're doing. If you're given two choices, in this circle, your job is to choose one of those choices, right? So one of these is right and one of these is wrong. Circle the good one, get rid of the bad one. So it goes um, white, little, little, tiny. White, little, little, tiny. White, little, little, and then the tiny. So you have, would circle the one that matches get rid of the other one. 
Here they are getting a little more complex again with turns and some different shapes in there. And then I have some great math games for you, so I think you'll like those. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.